Many patients notice dark patches on their face and often wonder what they are and why they appear. These spots are usually due to hyperpigmentation, a condition in which the skin produces more melanin, which is the pigment responsible for skin colour, than is normally required. Hyperpigmentation can affect anyone and its appearances can be influenced by sun exposure, hormones, inflammation or even minor injuries to the skin. Understanding what type of pigmentation you have is the first step towards choosing the most effective treatment and managing its recurrence. So there are several common types of dark patches. Number one, we have melasma. Brown or grey-brown patches that often appear symmetrically on the cheeks, the forehead, the upper lips or the jawline. Aging factors, hormonal changes, sun exposure and genetic factors can trigger melasma. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So these are usually the dark spots that appear after acne, skin irritation or minor injuries. Sunspots or lentigenes are well-defined brown patches caused by cumulative sun exposure over time. Freckles, on the other hand, are small light brown patches that appear with sun exposure and often fade when sun exposure is reduced. Other underlying factors including inflammation, overactive blood vessels and changes in the skin's basement membrane can make pigmentation harder to treat and may contribute to recurrence if the triggers remain active. Identifying the type and cause of pigmentation is important because treatments vary. Some spots may respond well to topical creams, antioxidants or chemical pills, while others require energy-based devices such as lasers or RF microneedling. Often, a combination approach is used to target both the visible pigment and the underlying skin conditions. In conclusion, dark patches on the face are common and usually the result of an imbalance between melanin production and clearance. While treatments can significantly improve pigmentation, managing the underlying triggers including sun exposure, inflammation, hormonal factors and vascular activity are key to maintaining results over the long term. Early assessment and a tailored treatment plan help achieve the safest and most effective outcome.